Each one of us has an idea how soccer should be played. However, the coach must have a concrete and a clear idea how the team should solve the different competitive situations. And that we call the game model. The game model underlines the coach ideas, introducing the players to perform certain actions, creating a network of relationships and interrelationships, which are being improved by the training and the competitive process, allowing all the members to converge on the strategic and tactical collective purpose. El modelo Barça es un modelo ofensivo y de juego de ataque, pero yo interpreto el fútbol desde eh, tener la posesión de balón, desde eh, utilizar muchos jugadores de perfil ofensivo, desde llegar al gol eh, utilizando un sistema en el que haya muchos jugadores en disposición de llegar a gol. Eh, lo intentaré hacer igual en el equipo que esté. Otra cosa es que tenga uno los jugadores capacitados para hacerlo, pero esa será mi elección. Yo tengo que decir, o yo quiero decir qué jugadores forman parte de un proyecto para poder formar parte de esa idea. Esa es mi idea futbolística, no veo otra. No veo la idea de meterme seis detrás del balón eh, o diez defendiendo y un punto arriba. No creo en esa idea. From the game model, the coach will have to establish a way to achieve it using specific training methods that we call the training model. The training model is supported by training methods, expressing a similarity relationship to the game model. This relationship does not reduce the conceptual spectrum of the training methods, because they emerge and develop continuously, drive from a huge possibilities dictated by the variability of the game situation. It is in the practice that the players contact experimentally with the game model, transforming a theoretical conception into a practical reality. With this assumption, we can say that the game model is not only theoretical, but will aggregate a practical component of vision of the future. In order to observe the interaction between the game and the training model, a specific analysis model must be conceptualized. The analysis model identifies and interprets a set of information which is fundamental source for the improvement of a training methodology towards to a team's games model. For this, specific conceptual models of diagnostic analysis of the competition are developed as well in certain training situations, which function as information filters of the most pertinent aspects for individual and collective refining. The interpretation of the competition and training analysis close a cycle that will help the coach to optimize the other two models, the game model and the training model.
That's why it's important to competing like in the training, train like in the competition, and analyze the training and the competition in the same way.